Hello my friends and welcome once again to the Curate Study where we're trying something just a little bit different. Now first of all you can tell there are two of us, there isn't just me and this is Sam Kerslake. Sam is my second son and Sam's going to be presenting with me a new feature in the Curate Study called the Kids Club and this is our first Kids Club. So welcome to the Kids Club from the Curate Study. Now it's going to be something a little bit different. So we're going to have a Bible story, which Sam's going to read for us. We're going to have some craft of some sort, making something, having a bit of fun. And so then prayers based around something that we have made. Does that sound OK? It may change week in, week out. We may try different things, particularly if you write into us and ask us to do something different. So today um, we're going to be talking about what Christians call Palm Sunday. So if you went to church this Sunday, you would probably be given a palm cross, a bit like this one. And we call it Palm Sunday because on this Sunday, we remember a special day when Jesus arrived in a huge city called Jerusalem. Now, back in the days when Jesus lived, when people were celebrating something important happening, happening something exciting, they would often take palm leaves from palm trees and they'd wave them in the air in a form of celebration and um, because for those people when Jesus lived Jesus arriving at Jerusalem was a special occasion they waved palm leaves in the air and so to remember that we give out palm crosses and we'll be talking a bit later on about how you too can make a palm cross out of some of the stuff that you've got left at home so if you want to listen now to our bible story Sam is going to tell us a bit about the Great Parade. The Great Parade. Let's go to Jerusalem, said Jesus to his friends. I have something important to do there. So they went, and when they could just see the city from a nearby hillside, Jesus said, let's have a parade. Jesus' friends were surprised. A parade, they wondered? Why a parade? But no one said anything, because Jesus was already too busy giving instructions. I want two of you to borrow a donkey, he said. Tell the owner I need it. He'll understand. When the two friends returned with the donkey, Jesus hopped on its back, gently nudged its sides, and started down the hill. His friends followed closely behind. Hooray for Jesus, they shouted. Jesus is king! Down, down, down they rode towards the city gate. And the closer they got, the more people joined them. It's Jesus the teacher, some called. It's Jesus the healer, called someone else. Three cheers for Jesus, called one and all. Soon there were people everywhere, marching along with the parade and shouting from the roadside. Some took off their coats and laid them in front of the donkey. Others cut palm branches from the trees and waved them about. There were hundreds, maybe thousands, clapping, dancing and shouting their way through the city gates. Everyone was happy. Well, almost everyone. Some of the religious leaders didn't like Jesus. They were jealous because the ordinary people were so fond of him. And when they saw the parade, they frowned. Wait just a minute, they called. You can't have a parade here. Tell your friends to be quiet, Jesus. But, but Jesus just laughed. Tell them to be quiet? <sighs> Impossible. Then he turned to look at the crowd. Can't you see, he said. There's so much happiness here that even if I could make the people quiet, the stones in the street would jump up and shout for joy. That's quite a party, isn't it? Now, can you remember from our story how Jesus got into Jerusalem? Was it in a car? No. Did he ride a bicycle? No. He rode a donkey, didn't he? And next time you see a donkey, have a look on his back and see what the markings there are there. And then maybe you can email me at the email address I'll put in the uh, underneath in the description box and tell me what you found. Now we're going to have a craft activity now. We're going to show you, with the help of one of my lovely assistants, how you can make a cross a bit like this one with some stuff that you've got at home. Let's try that. Hello, and today we're going to be making paper palm cross. So this is hopefully what we're going to end up with. What we need to do is start with two slices of A4 paper and I have glued them together just at the tips 
like this. So you end up with a long piece like this. Then we fold this top bit down just to above where the join is and fold. Then we take this top long section up to the just beyond the halfway point and fold it like that. Holding it like this we make the cross section like that. And just use your eye to make sure it's about the right length. Okay. This one now gets folded up like that and this will go over the back, it's a little bit tricky, and then across the base of this piece. This one then goes back up to the top corner, creating the traditional cross over on the front of the palm cross. This section then tucks down might need a bit of a jiggle Sometimes if you fold this section here, just to make it a little bit narrower, it will make it easier to slide it in. Like that. Success. There we have our cross. What you can do is just fold this section in again to keep it all neat and tidy. and tuck that last bit back in. And there we have an Easter cross made from paper. Okay, I hope you had some fun making the crosses. Here is a prayer which uses the different parts of the cross. Hold the cross in one hand and then touch one side of the cross piece and pay for the world. Loving God, thank you that your peace reaches into every situation across our world. Be close to those places that need peace this day. Touch the other side of the cross, cross peace, and pray for the people. Loving God, thank you that your hope reaches into every situation. Be close to those who are ill or sad this day. Touch the base of the cross and pray for the community where you live. Loving God, thank you that your joy reaches into our homes. Help us to know that you are with us every day. And pray for, at the top, touch the top of the cross and pray for the church. Loving God, thank you that your love is shared through your church. Give wisdom to those who help us to know that Jesus loves us. And hold the centre of the cross and pray for yourself. Loving God, thank you for Jesus and the love he showed for me. Help me to feel close to me every day. So, did you have fun making a cross? And did you pray with Sam over your cross? Well, I hope you have had a good time today. As I say, we're going to try different things over the following weeks. But for this week's uh, Kids Club, if you look underneath in the description, you'll see there's a quiz that Jack, who helps me edit, it, edit the videos, will have put up in the description box. If you'd like to have a go at answering the questions, maybe you can email me on my email address and tell me how well you've done. Or you could get your mum or your dad to send me a, a, a photograph of your cross that you've made at home. And if I get some of the good ones, maybe Sammy and I can help can show them to you all in our next kids club. Okay, well, we've had fun. I don't know about you, I hope you have. And before we go, I'm just gonna say a prayer. And if you wanna make it your prayer, you can say amen at the end. But if you don't want to, that's absolutely fine too. So let's pray. 
Dear Lord, we thank you for our time together having fun. We thank you for the story that Sammy's read to us and for our craft and our prayers. Till we meet again, keep us safe in your arms. Amen. Well, thank you guys. It's been a good for us kids club. I hope you'll agree. Let's do it again next week. Until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Goodbye. <laughs>